Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. How's everybody doing today? This Saturday evening after 5 o'clock. I hope all is well. It's a beautiful day. Um, as far as me and mine, we're doing good. When it took your little business this morning, that's why I didn't come to y'all with no breakfast video. And I was planning on, really planning on making breakfast this morning and doing a video. But I ended up going shopping. So, today I'm going to be doing a recipe. Well, we're going to do fried fish. There ain't no recipe, okay? I'm just going to be frying some fish. But I'm going to do some squash and zucchini. And I'm going to do some rutabagas, okay? Y'all done heard of rutabagas, right? I haven't had rutabaga in a long time. So, I said I wanted some um, rutabaga. But I ain't never, ever, and I'm 52 years old, I never... Right. Damn. I never had fish with nothing else but grits and salad and fries. Okay, it's always either I make fish and fries. I grew up on fish and grits and fish and salad and fish and fries. I grew up on all that. Every Friday in my household, it was fish and grits night. Okay, and so um. I always had those three. I never had like fish and and a vegetable and another vegetable or something like that right there. So this is my first time doing fried fish with rutabagas and squash and zucchini mix. But I have to get rid of this squash because it's coming up in my garden and I am so happy about that. But just as soon as you start cutting it off, more just start coming. And you can't let it stay in your refrigerator too long because then it have a tendency of going bad. You know what I mean? You got to cook it like right away. So we're going to be some squash and zucchini eating motherfuckers, okay? And, um, y'all excuse me about that for the ones that don't like cussing. Y'all excuse me because I do cuss every now and then. I will, I do cuss, okay? But anyway, we're going to get ahead into this video. I'm going to take this um, fish out this bag and we're going to get ready and season it up. And then I'm going to let it sit in my refrigerator until we get ready to fry. So y'all won't be seeing that because we're going to fry it outside. And let's not come outside and let y'all see. But we're going to be doing that outside because it's like hot. And shoot, with that oven on, y'all know it be getting real hot. So um, we're going to go ahead and season this up. And I'm going to cut the squash and zucchini up. Soak them in some water. Stick them in the refrigerator until I get ready to cut that up. And I already have the rutabaga. I want y'all to see the rutabaga in case somebody didn't know what a rutabaga was. But if you look it up, rutabaga, you'll see. And they used to be big back in the day because I grew up eating rutabaga, you know. And they used to be real big. Now they're real small. But we're going to go ahead. I bought two for $1.99. And they small. And I didn't buy that much, that money of them because I knew that we was going to have more vegetables besides the rutabaga. You know what I mean? The rutabaga wasn't going to be the only thing that was happening. So I got my fish in here. Try to get y'all up here looking at this fish. And this is the fish. So I need to put this darn thing dry before I season it. I'm going to pat it dry. And then I'm, um, I'm a little bag hole all the damn water. I saw this bag seal up, but that got dang on fish be so good. Can't wait. Did everybody get a chance to look at the video, the barbecue potatoes, and the Swiss steak? I hope somebody like it and they try to make it because I'm going to tell you, 
That was good. I had my office thinking when it was time for me to warm up my dinner yesterday. When I walked in my office, they was like, hmm, what is that smell? It smells good in here. I say barbecue potatoes. They say barbecue potatoes. I say yes, barbecue potatoes and Swiss steak. Dang, that sounds good. I say trust me and believe me, it is good. Hell, I think I need me something to drink now. Let this sun go down because it's too goddamn on hot to sit up out there now. Sun got to go down. I do got a porch and then I got a nice big fan on my porch. Took out one damn pack. See, I got this from Winn Dixie. And Winn Dixie cheap ass. Seven fish. Seven pieces of fish. It was $10.99 a bag. So I'm like, oh dang, they got it. They bag. <laughs> oh Lord, have mercy, Jesus. And I'm like, oh dang, they got their bag. Um, $10.99. And Walmart's on is like $12 darn dollars. But you get two. So I'm paying an extra dollar. Shit. Shitting me. Twelve dollars. This seven fish ain't gonna be enough. Damn, I gotta put on some more fish. No, you know what? I just have to find something else to cook along with the damn fish. Don't wanna cook the pork chop because we have a pork chop tomorrow. Oh, I got these little small bags of fish in here. Do that. I got these little small bags of flounder. I forgot all about that. So, oh. god damn, these fish so little. They got two of them in one. Look at that, y'all. Flounder from Walmart. Two pieces of fish in the bag. So they so generous. Huh. That's two pieces of fish. And now. Oh, no, no. Walmart need to quit. Well, it is what it is. We for eat these little motherfuckers. So, that's, um. I might as well. Let me put them back in this little hot water right here. The water was hot. So, let me just dip them right, put them right back in here. So, that's. Two, four, six, eight pieces of fish. Four bags of fish right now. I forgot how much I paid for this. Shit. I gotta start looking at prices or something. So we're gonna wait on this right here. To get thrown out. Let me, um. Let me make some more hot water. Water and I got warm. Now I need some hot water. This is going on, so I'm going to season this. So I'm going to season this
Yeah, I'm gonna show you something. Put it on, Jimmy. Yeah, I'm gonna show you something. I know damn well, never, this lady ain't never cooked no damn salmon in her life. Cause, white right, folks didn't eat salmon like they got fucking hand. They didn't eat that shit a long time ago, you hear me? Mm-hmm. Cause mama used to make mudfish balls. You just mudfish and boil it, and then that's how they got that shit salmon. That's how they started making salmon, and that's how they used to make them in the can. White right, folks didn't know nothing about that. They got their little people from somebody black. I guarantee you. Mm -hmm. I that's what I need to start that. That's what I need to get some salmon in the can. I ain't but the but other don't join. How is on the wood? They, they, they be trying to come up with some ideas, but that's I know where this come from. Some, they, that, their mama made it a long time ago. I know them lying. Why would they need that? That's nigga. Hey. This this fish that I got from that bag of fish, it got seven pieces in it. And the Walmart's only come with 10. I had to use the little small pieces of flounder to go with. like no wine today. And some liquor today. It's been a long goddamn on week, dang. And last night, I don't know what was wrong. Last night was all the week been good. It's just been long or something. I don't know. Then last night, right an hour before it's time to go, or well two hours before it was time to go, because it was after nine and I'm gonna leave to eleven. So before it's time to go Oh, hell, want to break loose. I'm like, what is going on? Oh, hell, want to break loose. I'm talking about on my job, y'all. Two hours before it's time to go. Let me season this fish right here right quick. Oh, hell, want to break loose. I'm like, no, 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 no. We can't do this. It's time for me to go. Come on, Johnny. That's my relief. I'm ready to go. I'm like, ooh, thank you, Jesus, I'm off tomorrow, which I was talking about today. So when the other fish get done, I'll just come back and season that, y'all. Just like I'm seasoning this. of all that you guys you still just gotta be thankful you know i may be bullshitting and talk shit but i'm thankful i got a job to go to i like my job and i don't get it twisted now we have our days but i love my job i thank god i got one to still go to let me don't put too much pep on him because my husband be talking about this hot I mean, no, he can't eat shit hot. I said, that ain't even as hot. But it be hot to him, though, you know. Everybody got different taste buds. And I'm putting a little seasoning salt on my, um, on my fish. Like the soul food seasoning. That's all. So let me look y'all let y'all look in here a little closely and see. See I just got through seasoning fish with soul soul food seasoning. So I'm just gonna stick this in the refrigerator and then we gonna work on that squash. We gonna get this squash cut up. So let me um. Ooh, shit. I 
I stick my hand up under that darn water. And I just cut the, the hot water off. So when I turned the water back on, it was still hot. I kind of burnt my hand there a little bit. So, um, let me tell you, my jean and jeans. Jean and jeans. We're gonna take um get rid of get rid of this squash now. Okay, so my, um, this is, y'all yeah, see that zucchini and squash right there? That's what we got out of our garden yesterday. So my husband got that out of the garden yesterday. This squash, zucchini here, and the squash. This, these two right here was, came from Thursday, and all the rest of it was from Friday. So it's already done been washed and everything. I'm just gonna get ready now and put it up in this bowl here. Huh? Just cook these in little pieces like this. And I'm gonna put lots, of, I'm gonna put about three onions up in there. Because I love me some onions in my um squash and zucchini. I do. And you know what I ain't had in a long time? I ain't made now that I'm gonna get the squash and the zucchini, it's me uh squash and zucchini casserole. I got a squash and zucchini casserole on my um channel, but I'm gonna make a um another one, and I think it'll be. I need to just try to do that one different, add some meat in it, cause that one had plenty of cheese in it, and it was so creamy, along with the breadcrumbs. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I'm gonna make this one. I'm gonna put some meat in this one. Not this one today, but the next one that I make. Because today we're just doing some squash. Either just take some zucchini and just fry it. Yes, that'll be good too. Some fried zucchini and squash. Fried like fried green tomatoes.
Can y'all see him? Uh, what you looking for? My awesome. The cleaning stuff. What the hell they deal with? What cleaning stuff? My awesome. It's very comfortable. Oh, you gotta look in the um, hall closet. I had it down there and somebody moved it. Why they out? It was something in the stoves. Lord, I just hope everything just get better. Cause going grocery shopping now, you got to try to find that. Find that. But I'm thankful that. It be something left in the store when I get ready to go grocery shopping, you know. And I, and I got what I needed for that day. So I thank the Lord for that. Well, I guess it's too late to call now because they just coming in the gate. Oh, well. Just don't like when, when somebody's sitting out there in front of your house and blow. I don't live outside. Ain't, I'm thankful I got a roof over my head. Get out the car and, and come knock on the door. Uh, sure, I got a door. Knock on the door. You know, I'm talking about when people pull up to your house and blow. Who was that? Shit, sit your ass out there and damn blow. Now that you know, but people before this virus may start kicking off, kicking off, people still used to come to your house and just damn blow. I sit up there and let their ass blow. You ain't hear me blowing? Uh uh. Lie my ass up. Damn skip, I heard you damn blowing shit. I got a goddamn on though. It worked. Dang, I don't like that kind of bread. Where you got that bread from? Bread store. You would go to the bread store and get the bread that I don't like. That bread too long. That bread a lot too long. The, the, uh, no, 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 I was trying to tell you to go. I did go this line too long. I don't like that bread right there. That's why probably that bread right there was left because nobody don't eat that shit. I eat the bread. Man, bread is bread, man. No bread ain't bread, shit. Tell me no bread is bread. Some kind of bread I don't fucking eat. I'm sorry. You could have got some damn marita. They probably have that shit. The good bread gone. Or uh, some damn um butter bread. You come back here with the damn wonder shit.
That bread just don't taste as good to me. Making a sandwich. Told you that shit last time you went and got the damn bread. Don't come back here with no damn wonder bread. The last time you went and bought some bread. I told you I ain't like that. You come back. Some butter bread. Well, I eat some butter bread all day. Um, but, um, butter bread all day. And um, what else the other bread is I eat? What the other damn bread? Oh, Aldi bread. Aldi little um cheap little bread for ninety nine cent. They little butter bread. You know it's a different name brand. I eat that shit. So that goddamn um wonder. I do not like that mammoth tap. Okay. Alright y'all, so I got my bread. I mean my damn bread shit. Damn, I'm talking about damn bread and sizzle. My um uh, my squash here, my zucchini and squash here. I got my veggies all nice and chopped, so I'm gonna add some water to these bad babies. And I'ma let these bad babies sit out. Cause I ain't got no room in my damn refrigerator. So I had to send him to the store to get some bread and ziploc bags. He's gonna come back with that water sheet. So, oh, let me cover this shit up. Check on this fish, see it's not on a thaw a little bit. Oh, the fish is ready. See, hot water be doing the damn trick, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. Hot water be doing it every time. Whatever you throwing out, throw some hot water on it. I promise you. So we're going to go ahead and season these. And this little fish right here. Look at these some little fish. Okay, y'all. Uh, so I'm going to put it down right here where y'all can see this fish. Oh, 
So this ain't gonna be but a one-time meal. That's all I'm trying to have for because I gotta cook dinner tomorrow. So we're gonna make it do what it do. Next time I know if I go I'll go back to one Dixie and get some more of that fish. I did get four bags, but damn, I ain't think I had to cook two bags of it. On a Walmart, I just cooked one bag. Because it's 10 in there, so it'll give us two pieces of fish a piece. And then it'll be two left over. But hell, with this shit, hell, you're going to need two damn bags. No, less than a single. God damn, this fish over there. Oh, I didn't let it stand in the water too long. It's tearing up. Let me grab and put this in the damn refrigerator with this. Something to firm up or something. So y'all, this is the rutabaga right here. This is what the rutabaga looks like. And it is so hard, it's freaking hard. So what I gotta do is just boil this right here and then it's gonna turn like orange, okay? This is an orange vegetable. And the skin of the rutabaga on the outside is waxy like. So you peel it, it's hard to peel and it's hard to cut. So I had my husband to do it because I've been trying to hurt myself trying to do this right here and I ain't wanna do that. So, um, he peeled it, cut it up in some chunks for me. So then, um, I boil it. And then when it comes to a boil, that's when I mash it down like mashed potatoes. And that's when I'm going to season it, okay? And I'll probably throw some meat in there. I'll probably throw some bacon in there. And then have the meat in there when it's time for the meat to mash it and transfer it into that bacon grease and that meat and season it. But I'm telling you, these rutabagas are so good. If you ain't never had rutabagas, watch how I fix this and tr try you some. I'm telling you, rutabaga for me is old school because I grew up eating rutabagas. 
I remember mama used to cook rutabagas and, and fried chicken. Rutabagas and fried pork chop. I mean, we just, I just grew up on it and I haven't had any years. I mean years. So this is my seasoned fish. So what I'm going to do with that is, let me give me another swallow of this right here now. So what I'm going to do with that is cover that back up, put it back in the refrigerator, let that seasoning go through it for a little minute. It's just 542. And then we're going to fry this bad baby outside on the grill. Fry this bad baby outside on the grill. We're going to put it on the burner and we're going to fry it. And then we're going to do this zucchini. I'm gonna take I have my two onions out ready because we're gonna we're gonna do that with um plenty of onions and some butter and a little bit of garlic. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna saute those bad babies. And then right over here we got our rudel baker. It's gonna be a good day today. What a combination. Fried fish rudel baker, but it's my combination, and I'm gonna hook it up and I'm gonna enjoy it to the last. I'm going to enjoy it until it's gone. Y'all hear me? And I want y'all to make y'all some. So, you guys. That's it. I just wanted y'all to see me season it up and cut the vegetables up. Um, I done did that. So, I'm going to bring it to a pause. And then when we get ready to actually start cooking, I'll be back. So, y'all be sure to give me a thumbs up on this video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Joanne's Kitchen. Kitchen. Is that Jen talking to me already? No, I just made a mistake. Okay, I always do. Okay, but anyway, y'all remember, y'all um, like, share, and subscribe to Joy's Kitchen. And once again, if you're watching this channel for the first time, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. Be sure to hit that notification bell. Hit it, tap it, whatever you're going to do to it. Just hit it, okay? Tap it. I don't care. Hit it or tap it. Hit that notification bell and be sure to give me a thumbs up. All right, so because every time you hit it or tap it, you'll be notified when I go to making a video or whatever it is I'm uploading because I don't know. I do food. That's what I do. But I'm starting to add other things into my video. I'm starting to do like my gardening since I, um, it's getting summertime. And the Lord's Spell Life later on in the winter, this year when it get winter time again, we'll be doing greens and um, winter stuff, winter vegetables. And I'm going to have me some greens, but it's going to be a three, um, all three kinds of greens. The collards, the mustards, and the turnips. Because y'all know I like all three. So we're going to be doing those. And we're going to do the broccoli again because that's a winter vegetable. Okay, so um, whatever I decide to do in my video and upload it, okay? But, so right now we're going to take a little breather. And when everything gets ready and we're ready to start cooking, I'll be back. So don't y'all go nowhere and I thank y'all for watching. Be sure to take that, check that video, um, video out, the Swiss cheese. I mean the Swiss steak, the Swiss Q steak, I'm sorry, and the um, barbecue potatoes because they was good. I got a lot of compliments on that video, on that dinner yesterday. And this one of my, um, one of my clients. It smelled so good to him, and he was like, Miss Joy, can I taste it? Yeah, I let him taste it, and he just fell in love with the barbecue pot potatoes and the little um Swiss cube steak. So he want me to make him something. I said, nah, that's too much. I ain't finna do all that right there. I can't be doing all that, because he'll be like, I don't want to show no favoritism to nobody. I like them all. But anyway, I'm finna get out of here, and I'll see you guys back in a few, okay? Okay, you guys, I'm back. I'm getting ready to put this zucchini and squash on. Put a little olive oil up in here. And we're going to put a half a stick or a, a, 
a half a stick of um, unsalted butter. This is unsalted butter, half a stick. And then later on, I'm going to add in some minced garlic, okay? And I'm going to do one teaspoon of that. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my squash and zucchini. some of this instead of cooking all the, the seeds it, it dries up though y'all know anything about squash and zucchini they're like a full pot but after start cooking and tossing and turning that mammoth is gonna get a little smaller so what may seem like a lot when it's finished the time I finish it's gonna be barely nothing But, no matter how you look at it, it's going to be so good. I just love me some squash and zucchini. So that's all of it. That's the whole bowl full of that. So I'm going to slice up me some onions and I'm just slicing them. It don't matter how you do this part. My husband's outside. Doing the um, fish on the grill. And I'm adding two whole onions in here and I just slice them in half. Cause I like my stuff. I love these onions loaded down. Smothering onions. Oh, what the fuck was that? What the hell you gonna drop in there? What, what you dropping in my damn bathroom? What the hell you gonna
my ass. Well, I'm so goddamn pissed off right goddamn now, I can beat your motherfucking ass. So help me, Jesus. Don't broke my shit. Marta broke my goddamn face. I'm pissed off. What he gonna face? sit the motherfucker on the goddamn to toilet stool and what the shit face? gonna fall off. The vase that I sit, that, that sit on the counter, on, I mean on my bathroom sink. His dumb ass, instead of sitting on the goddamn floor on the, on, on, in, the, in the room what or the in the windowsill, the, windows, the, the vase that sits on the sink, Marvin. In our bathroom. The flower vase. You don't sell no more like that. As long as I don't have that motherfucker, he gonna sit on the goddamn toilet stool. Then he gonna hit the motherfucker and fail. Dumb ass. Damn, I tell you, they act like they ain't got no damn sense. Some damn time. Like y'all be buying y'all motherfucking senses. Soon as they get up to you, they done ran fresh out. That's how y'all be acting. And God gave it to us. Gave us all senses. I swear. I don't use them. What's the use? God is giving us something and you don't use it. Lord, forgive me, Lord. Jesus, I am pissed. got another vase in the closet that I can use but I didn't want to use that one because that one when I get ready to redecorate my living room I already got my decorations that's for that that was for my living room and now I might have to use it for my own bathroom you know you got my got my little sink decorated I know my little bathroom decorated and he gonna call them vertebrae I haven't had that vase a long time well, it is what it is now. I had to vent, y'all. I'm sorry about that. A few minutes ago, I apologize to y'all. But I had to vent because I was pissed off. You now your chair just come break up your shit. Shit, I got a lot of glass in my house. And they big churn. I can see they little toddlers, but they, they ain't no little babies running around here. I got big churn. And they still breaking shit. I'm gonna add some soul food seasoning in here. Little onion powder. Last but not least, a little garlic powder.
And then I'm going to cover it up and just let it simmer. So my um, rutabaga, I already have that on, and I have that boiling. And I um, I added some salt to the water, just like I'm doing if I was doing mashed potatoes. So I added some salt to the water, and I just have that over there boiling. So when that gets too tender, I'm gonna take it and um, I'm gonna take it out and drain it drain the water off of it and leave it in my colander and i'm gonna take some bacon and fry it over in that pan and then add the um Ooh, this. excuse me and add the um rutabaga back to it with that bacon and then i'm gonna season it and then i'm gonna top of rutabaga gonna be good right over here right along with this um squash and zucchini Yes. So I'm gonna set some more butter in there. That's the uh, that's the, the um other stick of butter. The other half I meant to say, the other half that we just um use, and that's unsalted butter I'm using. So my kids have chores to do, right? So I just assigned him today. Today, because he was already cleaning up. My kids have their own bathroom, and then I have my bathroom. So I just assigned him. He every um he cleaned their bathroom, right? So I just assigned him today to clean my bathroom. So I said, well, you got both bathrooms to clean. First day cleaning my bathroom of his chore. And any other time he'd be cleaning my bathroom, he never did what he did today. Today I signed him my bathroom and my basket book. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the other vase that I have. And it's a white vase, so it'll go into it'll go with my bathroom. And then hopefully when this ban lift up, I can go to Ross and find me another vase to go back in my uh to go in my living room. Okay, so that's it for the zucchini and the squash is um over there boiling. So what I'm gonna do just put my top on. Turn this down to simmer. And just let this cook. And see, I didn't put any water to it, as you guys can see. Because you know, squash makes its own water. All I did was added the olive oil and the butter. And as you guys can see, it's water in the pan. And squash makes its own water, so that's why I didn't add any water to it. So we're going to let that cook a little bit. I got it on low until it get a little tender, but still a little crunch, crunch, um, crunchy. And then I'm going to drain some of that water off and remove it from the eye and cut the burner off. And then we'll just be waiting on this um, rutabaga over here. And I'm going to let it stay high. It's cooking on high, so I'm going to let it stay um, on high so it can go and cook because them things tough okay so we're gonna go on and cover this on up I got it down on simmer so I'll be back with y'all 
in a few shakes all right so I'll see you later okay y'all this is gonna be a long video and I am so sorry about that but my um rooter bakers here they don't ball out okay so I put a little bit more water in them and we're gonna let them boil a second time and let the water go down a little bit and then they're gonna be ready and then I'm um fry the bacon in that now as far as this um zucchini squash this is ready so we're gonna turn this off I just smell this. It smells so good. Might need to throw some darn cheese up and up. Let me taste it, y'all. Make sure it's right. Gotta taste your food when it's cooking. Cause you gotta make sure it's right. Okay. <clears throat> this is what I need to do. Oh. Add a little bit more salt to them. And I'm going to add a little bit more pepper. And I'm going to add some seasoning. I'm going to add some accent salt. I said salt makes everything taste better. I'm going to stir it up. Okay, I gotta taste it again. Just to make sure it's seasoned right. I'm blowing it, y'all. That's it, y'all. I'm cutting off the stove. I'm gonna put these on the back. Where the hell did the other thing go today? I don't know if I do with some Mosaic. Um, that would be for me, Mosaic. wish you was here. Got all the boys here except for you. I got all my sons here except for one, y'all. I'm missing Shallow. So, these right here is about ready. 
So I'm just gonna let these continue to boil. And then, let me do this. I'm gonna let them boil. And then, um, when I think they done boil enough, I'm gonna come back in here, drain the um, water off, and fry the bacon. Okay, so to my um, squash and zucchini here, I'm just gonna add in some um, parsley flakes. Mm, mm. Yes, y'all. Okay, and then we're gonna let that boil look, continue to boil, and then um, I'm gonna come back, drain it off in that same pan. I'm gonna take it and put a little olive oil in that pan, put these strips of bacon in there, let them get done. And then we're going to um, put the um, rutabagas back in. I'm going to smash that. I'm going to season it. And my dinner will be done, y'all. Almost. Because we didn't have enough fish. Even though I put like, because um, my kids can eat. So even though I added some more fish to it, it still was enough. So I had to end up um, doing some chicken nuggets. So my husband is um, getting ready to fry the chicken nuggets now. So it's like fish, chicken nuggets, zucchini and squash mix with rutabaga. Okay. So that's our dinner for today. So I'll be back to y'all in a few shakes. They'll show y'all what we're going to do next with this rutabaga. Okay? So stay tuned because there's more. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Welcome back. I just emptied the water, drained the water off from my rutabaga. And I have my little slices of bacon here. And this is a little... I just cut the bacon you know it was a whole strip and I just cut the I mean I'm tapping in half now the root bacon is not that much because um I only bought two I don't know what happened to them damn things because they used to be so damn big They used to be big, y'all. They, I mean, big. Now the mama tab is looking real small. And I'm like, yeah, dang. The mama tab used to be big. And this is what they look like, y'all. Y'all see that? This is what the rutabagas look like. And it's only two. This is two of them. So it's not going to be that much. But everybody can get a little taste. Just a spoonful. So it's five of us. And we'll just get one spoonful. And I'm going to mash them up. Okay? So first I'm going to fry the bacon. They used to be so big. When I was coming up. And it was like around the 80s and stuff like that. Around the 80s. Mm -hmm. You know, I was going to school and stuff. And we used to eat these. Mama used to cook them. And it's a whole nother decade. And the cat dang on Mama Tappa's looking like, I don't know what. I wish I could have just, I wanted to show y'all what the rutabaga looked like. But my husband, he was ready to um cut it up. So I want to show y'all what the rutabaga looked like. Oh, well, y'all can see how small it was. Because the mountain top was small. We're going to fry this bacon up. I got my seasoning down. And we're just going to season this with some good old-fashioned salt and pepper, y'all. I have been craving this rutabaga. And then my husband had brought, got the squash out of our garden yesterday. And then I already knew we was going to have fish today because my husband wanted more fish. And we just had fish last Saturday. But he wanted more fish. So I guess Saturday is Fish Friday. Ooh, let me cut this mama tepper down. I, don't know, I ain't trying to have no burnt bacon. Okay, so now I'm going to pull. I'm turning my stove down. So let me get y'all up in ham so y'all can see. Cause these rutabagas gonna be done in a few shakes. So 
So I told y'all, y'all just doing like mashed potatoes, but you don't put no milk in here, okay? You don't need no butter in here. They ain't mashed potatoes. When I was saying like mashed potatoes, I mean you 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 just mash them. I believe I done got that mashed up, and it's not that much. And I started to get well, no, I didn't. I said I wasn't gonna get that many because I'm like. We got other vegetables, but nah, shit. I ain't had rutabagas in so damn long. I'm like, damn, maybe now nah, I should have bought a little bit more. So just a little salt up in here. A little pepper. Not too much pepper. Stir it around again. So we're gonna put a little bit of water in there. Well, let me put a little bit more water. Made it like that. Now I gotta taste it, y'all, and see how it tastes. You always wanna taste it and make sure. I'll make sure I got that um cut down on low. Okay. So I'm gonna taste it. See, do we need any more salt? salt. I be outdoing myself, y'all. I do. Now, we ain't gonna put no parsley flakes in the rotabaker. Alright, we don't need no parsley flakes in it. And this is it, y'all. You just peel it. Boil it, let it get tender, tender to where you can put a fork in it and the fork go directly through, it's ready. Drain it off, let me taste a little bit more. Mash it up, fry some bacon up in there. Rudel Bakers 101. I'm gonna cover that up. That's it. Damn. Okay, y'all. That's it. So it don't need to cook no more. Basically, it's ready. So I just turned my stove off. And this is it, real you guys. And I'll be back. Excuse me. And that damn rocking juice got me burping. Like I'm a damn man. So my zucchini and squash. It's all ready to go. My rutabaga is all ready to go. So we're just waiting on the fish because I told y'all that, um, well, we're not waiting on the fish. We're waiting on the chicken nuggets because we had to make some chicken nuggets because the fish wasn't enough. So even though I did the other little, uh, little bag, them little pieces, some of them crumble up. So 
I had to um so what we gonna go right quick I just bought some chicken nuggets he frying them with one bag right now so when I uh, come back and show y'all what everything looks like plated up so I'll see y'all back here in a few all right okay y'all I'm back I'm gonna get ready and fix our plates and ready to eat. I gotta find my husband. Cause I know all this right here is gonna be gone. This hit for me tonight. I hope they get this. So, you guys, here we go. This is what it looks like plated up. Zucchini and squash, rudel bacon. Fried fish and chicken nuggets. God damn, what a dinner. But it's my dinner. And I'm finna munch out. I'm finna enjoy this. Catch up on my fish. I mean, hot sauce on my fish. I don't need no hot sauce on nothing else. chicken nuggets and this is how I like my chicken nuggets y'all with ketchup and mustard at home I eat them with ketchup and mustard but if I'm buying them from Wendy's, McDonald's, or whatever, I'm going to use me some sauce. Okay, you guys, that's it. So 
So, you guys like this recipe? Rudel bakers, squash and zucchini mix with loaded with onions and garlic, chicken nuggets, and fried fish. Yes, give me a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe to Joanne's Kitchen. Once again, I thank you all for watching this video. And if you have not subscribed, do subscribe. Move the, move the fish. And if you have not subscribed, y'all do subscribe. So let me taste this right quick. See my prayers. Even though I've been tasting, let me taste, continue to taste. Okay. Oh, I love this Buddha baker. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Y'all try this rutabaga. I'm telling you, if y'all ain't never had rutabaga, try it. I'm telling you, it tastes so good. Mmm. It's hot, but the season it tastes so good. Mmm. 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 Y'all, I'm going to eat. I thank you all for watching. God bless. Y'all stay safe. I love you all. I'll see y'all back here in the morning, later on tonight, with another video for my Sunday's dinner. See y'all later.